These are the top stories of the week. Einstein proven right, Twitter timeline controversy, and everything else you need to know. According to a study just published in a journal called Physical Review Letters, gravitational waves have been detected for the first time. Gravitational waves were predicted by Einstein's theory of general relativity, but this is the first time they were directly detected. Now what are they? They're the byproduct of two black holes, billions of light years from Earth, colliding. When they collided, they produced these energy ripples through space. Now what does this mean? Speaking to the BBC, Professor Bernard Schutz said, with gravitational waves, we do expect eventually to see the Big Bang itself. Well, holy shit. Twitter is offering its users the option of a different timeline. The regular way is seeing tweets in chronological order. The new way would put more important tweets at the top of your timeline. Don't fear, this is an opt-in thing. To change your timeline, go to your Twitter settings, then scroll to the content section, then to the timeline option. You can check the box to show the best tweets first. Anybody running Windows, remember to update. On February 9th, Microsoft patched a vulnerability that would allow an attacker to delete data, run programs, and pretty much do anything they wanted. The flaw affected Windows Vista and every version of Windows after, including Windows 10. A lot more news to know, it's time to go rapid fire. Brian Fuller was named as the showrunner for the new Star Trek TV series. Fuller was behind Dead Like Me and has written for Deep Space Nine and Voyager. Sneaker maker ASICS bought popular fitness app RunKeeper. Ahead of the LG G5 launch on February 21st, LG showed off a new touch-sensitive case for the G5. It's called the Quick Cover. And lastly, Time Inc. purchased Viant, the owner of MySpace. Viant's advertising tech is probably more important to Time than that old social network. Now you're all caught up in tech? To get your daily dose of tech news, check out cnet.com update. For a weekly dose, hit up cnet.com radar. I'm Ayaz Akhtar, signing off.